This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is the second video in the uh, core class series uh, I got from Toy Axe. Uh, yesterday was Bombers, today I'm going to do Ironhide because he's a cool little bot. So yeah, two of five and uh, I'll do the other three soon enough. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. Fantastic online store where at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Iron Eye, the Energon Cubes! Don't worry, I'll blow them up to Sabatron as dust. Stop! You know, Iron Hide is by far a one of the more classic characters of G1. Not just the movie, but the series as well. Everybody likes Ironhide, and I felt it was important for my five-year-old to have this guy in his collection. Which, of course, means I had to get him the Ratchet Repaint. So I did. But, uh, yeah, he looks really okay. I mean, it's not the greatest figure. Uh, when you transform him, it's kind of not tabbing altogether. You'll see uh, in a couple of minutes. But... I like the way that he's, you know, smooth shoulder. Uh, the feet are a little weird. I, they could have added an extra inch to pull the toe down, I guess. But you have the wheels here that are, I don't know. Uh, you, they, they probably could have been hit, better hidden. But uh, the face sculpt looks good. You know, that's Iron Hide. No, no details. Uh, no, no contest. And uh, yeah, uh, crotch. A lot of people are complaining about the colors on the crotch area. I don't care. In the back, he's not too hollow. Uh, except maybe here because of that hollow peg goes into that hollow hole. So hollow on hollow. And you know, big kibble in the back. But overall, you know, a good enough figure. So there you go. Final look at the iron hide before the paint shop. Doing here, this area is off limits to civilians. And here we are with Ironhide after he went to the paint shop. And this is a good and almost perfect set, but there's a couple things uh, you'll notice right away the uh, window doesn't cover the whole thing, so you still have a bit of a line from the previous window. So that's that's uh. Well, I mean, I, I'm guessing it's kind of hard to get all the measurements in and cutting all those uh, regularly. Maybe it's just my copy, hopefully. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you have this big old decal here. Uh, shoulder decals, um, you know, they're optional, but uh, I do like to have uh, the logos on the shoulder like that, so that's cool. You have a uh, little decal here, reminiscent of the uh, uh, the face decal they, they had in G1. Uh, also, you have a decal here on the shin. Uh, what else do you got in the robot mode? Nothing for the eyes, thank God. And yeah, pretty much everything else is going to be in the alt mode. So, well, let's go ahead and uh, put it in uh, alt mode. Well, I'm tired of sucking their vapor trail. I'll stop them. And now in uh, soccer mom mode, uh, he looks good. I mean, stick out the inch here. Uh, this one doesn't peg in properly. It won't hold. Um, I think it's because of, uh, you know what, let's test that theory. Uh, if I can move the leg a little more on the inside and then twist this a little more so that the, hmm, you know, hinge will do what hinge wants. There you go. Nope. Yeah, this one, it doesn't, uh, it, basically the leg uh, hits on the hinge and it's you can't twist it before without everything untabbing so anyway so that's a QC issue but he looks like a minivan he, you know he's one shade of red to my colorblind eyes so that's that's a bonus right there but I can't wait to see what the windows are gonna look like with the decals and uh, yeah I don't think we're gonna get a lot of decals on the wheels but Still, good figure. My son loves it. He's able to transform him in Ratchet, so he's always happy about that. Because uh, this is an eight-year-old and uh, eight and above uh, toy, and he's five, so he's proud of that. So, kids gonna be kids. So there you go. Final look at Ironhide before I apply the decals. 
back end somewhere. I think my linkage is busted. And here we are in alt mode, and he looks really good. Honestly, the window decals make all the difference, all that shine to it. Uh, I do miss the cell shaded one that they had, but this uh, blue chrome really uh, looks good too. Uh, so you have one, two, yes, that's a singular decal. Uh, three, four, five decals for the window, plus the front and the other side. You have one, three decals uh, for the line. Uh, the line is straight, the robot is not. So, you know, that happens. Little uh, silver bumper all around here. You have silver eye lights here. Lodobot logo. Four lights in front and the venette thing. Uh, there you go. Uh, what else you got? Oh, the back window. That's always cool. And then you have another silver highlight for a bumper. And then you have iron hide. Um, so that's a plus. And then you get a sunroof. So there you go so i oh and by the way this yeah it's fixed now if you perfectly align the leg uh it uh, it doesn't well it still untabs a little bit you see here but not by much so it looks better so there you go ironhide looks great in this set i'm not disappointed and i'm looking forward the uh finishing the other three and uh, of this series and uh, show you the uh, end result for everything so thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review, if you did please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.